In this video, I want to talk about the main features of a balanced scorecard. I help companies develop balanced scorecards and I have most likely developed more scorecards for companies across all industries than anyone else in the world. So what I want to do in this video is just outline the key features. And it all starts with a strategy map. This is basically a one-page tool that allows you to put your strategic goals onto one page. And therefore you can very easily communicate it and gives you this clarity and focus. And a strategy map is split into four perspectives where you identify your financial goals, so what you want to achieve in terms of profit margins and revenue. Then you look at your customer perspective, where you then define maybe the markets and the, um, the products you want to sell in certain markets and the customer deliverables you want to deliver in order to make money. Then you look at the third perspective, which is your internal processes, where you then figure out, okay, what do we as a business need to concentrate on now internally in order to fulfill our customer promise in order to make money? So you, here you think about, okay, over the next 12 to 18 months, what do we really need to focus on internally? What business processes do we need to improve? And then finally, you look at your learning and growth perspective, where you identify things like what human capital needs to have so what what goals to have in relation to my people my organizational culture but also your it infrastructure and your networks and then you build a little bubble diagram saying okay i have a number of goals usually between 10 and 15 across all the four perspectives that then really give you this clarity and focus. And I don't think there has ever been a time that is where the strategic focus is more important than ever. The second element is that a balanced scorecard contains action plans. So for each of your strategic goals that you now have identified, you need to identify what projects, what programs, what activities do we now need to put in place to deliver this. So this strategic plan doesn't become a trip to fairyland where you say okay this all looks very good this is what we want to achieve you now need to turn this into reality and you link, need to link your projects and initiatives and activities to this in order to deliver them the third component is that you then have metrics or kpis key performance indicators that help you to track how well you're now delivering your strategic goals and your strategy, and also how well you're delivering your action plans. So they help you to monitor how well you're doing and help you to track progress over time. All of this then has to sit in a framework of a strategic performance management approach in your organization. So having these components in place is all well and good, but you also need to have a routine in place where, we, where you regularly report on performance where you then get together as a group of people to review this and you also need a regular process um, to actually revise your strategy this is something that I see happening in lots of organizations that they design a balanced scorecard and then run run with the same balanced scorecard for two or three years and I believe that especially in a fast-changing environment that, that we're in at the moment you need to do this at least six monthly where you revise it and say how are our strategic um, focus areas changing and therefore how do, how, do, how do we need to change our action plans and how do we need to change our indicators that will track this. And if you do this, you will really align your entire organization behind a very focused strategy. So hopefully that's useful. I have tons more videos and articles and case studies on my YouTube channel and my website. So if you want to dive in more about how do you develop a strategy map, how do you develop action plans, how do you develop good KPIs, I've got templates and examples out there that you will hopefully find useful.